All right, Dr. A, welcome to Ingredients Against for a Better Life. Nice to um, have you. Thanks for joining me today for um, the Q&A. Glad to be here, Chef Jay. So, you know, as you know, I've been doing these phone consultations. And, you know, during that process, every week I get the same questions every day, you know, and there's not a lot of information out there. So let's just jump into, you know, the biochemical report card blood tests, right? And uh, why it's so important and what it, what it tests for. So why is this test so important? And, you know, as a medical doctor, what kind of things does it give you to look at? And, you know, why should people have this blood test, even if they just have to pay for it out of pocket and not through insurance? Right. Very good questions, Jay. So the, the way I like to think about it, first of all, is uh, thank you for having me on here to even talk about molecules uh, to the public, because it's not something that uh, you wake up in the morning, have a bowl of cereal and you have a conversation about molecules. Right. We've right. only discovered them for the last couple of decades. Right. So before we had a light microscope that could see cells and we built an entire program based on cellular th theory. And uh, guess what? Light microscope was replaced with x-rays. Now today, you don't go into the doctor and say, hey, do you think I have a broken bone? Jay, what do you do? You order the x-ray, the x-ray comes back, you take it to the doctor, the doctor uses the x-ray to decide what type of therapy to use. So now that we've got hair loss, no one knew what caused it. Now that we do, it's inside your body, it's inside your blood, it makes obvious sense that we have to look inside your blood. The next step is who's going to pay for the blood work, and that uh, gets into another uh, uh, question that we could go over if that's a, a common question that you have. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so what kind of things do you look for in this uh, blood work versus, you know, a normal, hey, I go in for my annual blood check with my doctor. He, I already have labs. Okay, perfect. All right. So now you're one. Of, so there's two types of people in this world. One says it makes sense to look into labs, which means to look inside your body to find out what causes things. And the other group is more superstition and they just want to treat things based on how, how they feel and the opinions of things. So since now that we've got a group that believes that labs are important, now it depends on what specifically you're looking for. There's 4,000 different molecules. Uh, each specialist knows their molecules. And I've got my set of molecules that I know very well. Uh, each doctor in a specialty has their specialist group of molecules. So if you go to your annual generalist doctor, they've got their generalist biomarkers that they look for. And they're looking for general things that might be able to help, uh, prevent uh, some kind of diseases and might be able to help you. When you come to a hair loss specialist such as myself, I'm going to order biomarkers that are going to determine what is the underlying cause of the hair loss. And I'm going to look at genetic biomarkers as well as nutritional biomarkers, but they're very specific and tailored to the disease. So the disease should be tailored to the labs that you're looking for. Does that uh, make sense? Yeah, uh, make yeah sense? Just, I, I just wanted to underline the fact that your labs are different than the labs that you get when you go to your doctor for say, you know, your, your checkup, he's not checking for the same you can, things. You, you could say that jab, uh, Jay, uh, Jeff Jay, our labs, and you'll see here on the screen, the labs yeah, what cost is all $1,800, that right? Yeah. Labs cost $1,800 because we're looking for a lot of stuff, Jay. We've got to figure out what is it that caught you mentioned earlier on your pro on our program that, Hey, this is the last stop Jay. When you've tried it all and it didn't work, you eventually come to something that does work. And what does it take? It takes looking at labs and $1,800 worth of biomarkers. Your generalist and your uh, HMO insurance is not going to cover $1,800 worth of labs. And it just makes common sense. If you pay $1,800 a year for your insurance, they're not going to spend it in one wad on your labs. Okay. So yeah. here you'll see here, if you've got the PPO insurance, those people pay a little bit more, right? Jay, they pay a lot more sometimes. And what do they cost? Cost nothing. Thing. They usually cover the $1,800 worth of labs. The uh, S Stop and Regrow has a rate. We've got so many clients that go, Jay, we've negotiated a price down to $395. And you'll see there in the middle, the HMO, nobody knows what they're going to charge you. I've seen uh, people get charged up to $1,400 for those same labs that they could have gotten for $395. We do our best uh, to work with the lab companies to get a fair price, but uh, you're looking at about a dollar a day 
to do a blood work that could do something nobody's ever done on earth, which is to reverse a uh, genetic enzyme disorder that's causing hair loss and eventually prostate cancer. So right. we're getting an opportunity to reverse hair loss and possibly prevent other uh, uh, diseases in our future. So you're not just grabbing some medication off a shelf saying, here you go, Roger in Cincinnati. Uh, take that. Here's your topical. Best of luck to you. That you're not, That's not what it's about. You're making up the doses as you come across the results. You're making the orders per individual. Is that correct? Uh, Chef, uh, Chef Jay, when you walk into a kitchen and you see the containers and there's four containers on the wall and uh, none of them are labeled, you don't just walk in and start mixing stuff up, right? You got to figure out what's inside the containers. So, right. yeah, you got you to look inside first, right? And that's just going to be a conceptual piece of logic that in 20 years will make a ton of sense to a lot of people. Today, it makes a little sense to a few people. In the future, it'll make a lot of sense to a lot of people. You know, you can't treat anything without a proper diagnosis, right? So what's the most important thing to someone that wants to stop their hair loss or moreover their you know, biochemistry that's out of alignment or something like, as a doctor, what's the most important thing, action, a person could take today to, uh, to help themselves? Very good, Jay, very good question. What is the most, the number one thing someone can do to, to help themselves? If you were to go to Google, you would ask a question. I would say, how do I stop my hair loss? How do I regrow my hair? And if you don't yep. find stop and regrow, there's going to be a problem. So people are finding us, but at first, as, as you mentioned, you first have to seek and you will find. So doing nothing does not work. Trying something that was thrown in front of you is not as good as you doing a little bit of research, right? So I appreciate yep. people that do a little bit of research. And if the research doesn't find us, Give us a call and we'll give you a 30 minute uh, consultation. Yeah, that's great. And now these um, consultations are offered not only via phone consultation, but via video call as well, which is very helpful because, um, you know, we can see the client better and what what's presenting with um, their hair and everything. And also your website is is uh, up and, you know, has a lot of valuable information on there as well. So just want to make sure people have the, these key facts. Go to Stop and Regrow website, you know, do the phone consultation, learn about the biochemical report card, and just get the blood test because it works. I mean, it's that simple, you know? I mean, yeah. really. So that's <laughs> that's what I wanted right. to, to bang to, and it to hone in on today. Well, thank you very much, Jay. I appreciate uh, being here. If there's anything I can do, hopefully we'll do this uh, maybe live and uh, people can even ask questions. I would uh, even uh, sponsor uh, reading someone's blood work uh, if, if people are interested and we could go through the numbers and people could understand how important it is. But I'm hoping by the uh, people listening to your channel over time and calling in, they'll understand that blood work is important, right? So you might as well get someone who's a specialist in the problem that you're having, run the blood work, and then you run it once. Yeah. And, and it's a uh, drop in the bucket. Once. You know, it, it's it's two months on the program because I think you have a – you, it's not eighteen hundred dollars for, for you to for, for clients of yours. How how much is it? Was well, three ninety five for for clients to get their blood work through you, right? You're right, Jay. It's it's a very detailed, comprehensive list of biomarkers that go over both genetics and the nutritional input that uh, affects the hair loss. And it's about eighteen hundred dollars worth of labs, but we have so many people going all over the world that we called up LabCorp and we asked for a negotiated price. So we're paying uh, three ninety five. We offer that uh, discount over to the patient. So uh, if the HMO is giving you a hard time, the three ninety five that's about a dollar a day, Jay. So Who needs it? Yeah. If precision supplement is not worth a dollar a day. You know, you probably not yeah. uh, really want to start a program that costs six bucks a day, right? So there's yep. nothing that's too expensive. I think a cup of coffee at uh, Starbucks is about seven fifty today. If you give them a tip and a nice person, you're about nine dollars before you leave there. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, hair that's loss it. is uh, it's up to if if you if you value it, there's six bucks a day and you can start the program. It's an investment in yourself, right? That's what it is. So, um, well, Doctor Ray, thanks for your time. I know you're a busy man and um. You know, uh, I look forward to talking to you soon, and I really appreciate your time today, and um, thanks for everything you're doing. Great work.